What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about a little company called Remedy, which uh, has been known to make some pretty incredible games over the last 15 years. Uh, they're probably best known for the Max Payne series, which I really enjoyed. Also Alan Wake, and more recently, a little known game called Quantum Break, which is an Xbox One exclusive. Uh, Quantum Break came out to, I would say, critical acclaim. It was weird to me because I bought it as soon as it came out. I played it and I just didn't like it. I didn't enjoy the experience. And as you guys can see, the game only mustered up 680,000 sales worldwide, which is pretty bad for a game that's supposedly, you know, a big Xbox exclusive. And we're talking about from then until March of 2017. 680,000 units. It's barely over half a million sold. So the game didn't do well at all. Remedy lost a little bit of credibility with that game to me. My first impression was it was going to be like one of Xbox One's best games because it looked incredible. All the trailers and everything I saw from the game looked incredible. And even playing it, certain parts of the game were just phenomenal. But it was one of those lacking experiences that just didn't pull me in. Well, Remedy is back on the scene and they're making some changes. And I think they're pretty exciting changes. You know, you try something new and maybe it doesn't work out the way you think it should. And what do you do? You go back to the drawing board and go back to what you know. So that looks like that's what Remedy's trying to do. They're trying to become a multi-plat game developer. And they want to own the IPs they create because over the last few years, they haven't really been able to own the games that they make. They've always went to another party and they're getting, they're getting tired of that. And so now they're going a completely different direction and it's kind of exciting. I'll drop a link in the description. Remedy Entertainment Planning and IPO confirms return to PlayStation. Remedy Entertainment, most known for working on the original Max Payne, is planning to get listed as well as initiate an IPO on the NASDAQ First North Finland Stock Exchange, according to an announcement on the company's website. According to the company, the move will give the company a, quote, stronger value chain proposition, end quote, and it will enable it to, quote, execute Remedy's growth. According to the company, the move will give the company a, quote, stronger value chain proposition, end quote, and it will enable it to, quote, execute Remedy's strong growth and cover the company's development and commercialization expenses, end quote. Remedy CEO Taro Vitala said in a statement, quote, We're developing our business in line with our strategy towards a multi-project model, which helps us release high-quality games to the global market more often. Our goal is to be one of the most renowned game companies in the world, end quote. While the company has created several successful titles, it has never been able to keep ownership of the IPs it's created. The company hopes that this move will change that and allow it to retain control of future IPs it plans to create, which is only right. If you create something, you should be able to keep that. Today's announcement also confirms a previous report that the company will be returning to the PlayStation platform and that it is already developing its Northlight game technology for the PS4 for a new title codenamed P7. This is part of the company's strategy to release games to a wider audience through multiple platforms and devices. This is good news. Uh, you know, and I'm rooting for them. I would have rooted for them either way. Uh, you know, sometimes companies make games you just don't like. But I think Remedy is a very talented studio. And uh, I think that they deserve to keep the IPs that they create. It's like you have a child and somebody just comes and snatches it and jumps out of a window. It's just not right. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the PS4. And hopefully, whatever they create next, they want to be, you know, a top-tier developer. Obviously, they're talking about Naughty Dog or they're talking about Rockstar. They want to be like that. And I think they have the, the, the capability. You know, their games in the past have been very story-driven and very cinematic. And, you know, it was just very thick with atmosphere, the Max, Max Payne games. Uh, and so they, they've dabbled in greatness before. And I think they can definitely go to it again. Uh, and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for my channel. Thumbs up, please. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to, you can support my independent YouTube channel by becoming a patron at the link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.